This video will be a comprehensive guide to achieve the best renders. You'll need the following programs. WinRAR, FFmpeg, OBS, Premiere Pro, Vocoder, Smoothie, and Topaz AI. WinRAR is an application used to interact with RAR or ZIP files. FFmpeg is an application used to upscale and interact with video files. OBS is a recording software. Premiere Pro is a video editing software. Vocoder is an application used to render quickly and in higher quality. Smoothie is what's used to add the blur effect to the video. Topaz AI is used to sharpen and enhance clarity of the video. Use the following order when creating your video. Record, then send your video through Smoothie, then use the AI enhancing program, edit your video, then finally upscale. All right, now onto the FFmpeg section in this video. I'll try to keep it as straightforward and concise as possible. In the video description, I'll have a link to FFmpeg. Go ahead and copy and paste that, and let's go to it. Now that we're here, you'll see three operating systems, Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. Now, depending on the operating system that you use, you use those downloads. For this tutorial, we'll be using Windows. So go ahead and click on Windows Builds. Now from this site, all we're going to do is scroll down a little bit and then see latest Git master branch build. From there, we're going to go ahead and download FFmpeg Git full. Go ahead and click on it once and I'll begin downloading. Now once it's downloaded, go ahead and create a folder on your desktop. Name it whatever you'd like. In this instance, we're just going to call it Upscale. Now we're going to go ahead and open our downloaded zip folder. Now within here, click on it once highlight that and bring it into our upscale folder. Now that you've extracted the zip into your folder, it should look like this. Then enter the bin folder. Then from here, click once at the top and copy this path. Now go to the bottom left and look up edit. Edit the system environment variables should come up. If it doesn't, just type out the full name. Click on it once and you should see the screen. Then click on environmental variables. Then from here, click on path twice, then click new and copy and paste your path. Now I've already done that, so I have no need. Then once you've done that, go ahead and click OK and OK. Let's begin with the OBS settings. First, you have to make a display capture. Then once you've done that, go to your settings and copy exactly what you see. We'll be skipping over stream as this is not a live streaming tutorial, only a recording tutorial. Change your output mode to advanced, make sure this is standard, and copy these following settings as you see them. The only thing that is subject to change is the video encoder. The video encoder that you use is dependent upon the GPU that you have. If you have a NVIDIA GPU, use the NVIDIA encoder. If you have an AMD GPU, use the AMD encoder. Also, I like to record my audio in two tracks. That's why there's two audio tracks, one for desktop audio and one for my microphone. Then on to video. Make sure this is your correct monitor resolution. Change this to fractional FPS. I like to record in either 240, 360, or 540 FPS. Depending upon your PC, this number can change. For me, the max I can go is 240 or 360 before I begin experiencing issues. If your PC can handle it, do 360 or 540. For advanced, these are my settings as well. Now onto the smoothie section of the video. All you have to do is go to the following link in the description, then click enter, then go to releases and click on the latest one, then download the zip file. Now once you have the file, unzip it. Now enter the folder, go to bin, scroll down and look for the exe file. Right click, show more options and click create shortcut. Now name it whatever you want, then right click, show more options properties, then at the very end of target, add a space, then a dash, a V, a space, a dash, and an I, and click apply and OK. Then click Windows R, which will bring up run, then type in shell send to, then click OK. Then move your created shortcut into this folder, and it should look like that. To use Smoothie, all you have to do is right click on a file, Show more options, send to, and smoothie should be right there. All you need to do is click on it, and there you go. It'll begin blurring. And here are my settings. The 
The full settings will also be linked in the video description. Also, if you are experiencing any crashes, disable the preview. Now, if you want to install Rife, all you have to do is go to the following link in the description, go to the latest release, download it, and download the zip file. Once it's downloaded, extract it to a folder where your smoothie is. Then, enter the folder, select 4.6, right click, click copy as path, go back, then go to your smoothie settings. Scroll down at the bottom and replace this line by copy and pasting. Now on to the Topaz Video AI section. Open it up, drag and drop a video, and it should look something like this. Then check enhancement, make sure you're using this model, make sure every other option is turned off, then click on estimate, and it should edit these sliders. Then the only slider that you want to change after the fact is anti-alias slash deblur. Make that anywhere from 45 to 52. Then export your file. Now on to the VOC coder section of the video. Refer to the link in the description and go to it. Now, depending on your editing software, for this tutorial, Premiere Pro, go to the application connectors page and download your version. In this instance, the Premiere connector. Once downloaded, go through the following steps and it should install correctly. Once the connector is installed, go to the latest releases and download the MSI file. Go through all the install steps and it should work. If the connector is not working correctly, Use the following path for the installation, which will also be linked in the video description. Now onto the Premiere Pro render settings. Click on format, scroll down, and find a VOC coder. Select it. Make sure the frame size is correct, and make sure this information is also correct. Click on vocoder, click configure. Make sure the codec is the one you'd like to use, in this instance, the NVIDIA NVEC, and copy these options exactly as you see them. Now, if you want to upscale your video, which I highly recommend for uploading to YouTube, click Add, Z Scale, Edit, Point, and then change to 2160 by 3040, then click OK. Now, to make sure these settings are saved, make sure you create a preset. Now to conclude, let's review the rendering process ordering. First, you want to record, then send that video file a smoothie, use the AI enhancer on that file, then edit the video, then render and upscale the video, finally upload it to YouTube. If you have any questions about settings, application issues, downloads, or anything else pertaining to renders, please join the Discord linked in the video description. In addition to this Discord link, I'll also be providing a link to a site that provides more in detail instructions and explanations of what all these applications do.